President Gengob was responding to a question by Nudo regarding the possible compensation for former fighters under the Southwest Africa Territorial Forces SWATF and KUFUT units. The group has for years been demanding war veteran status and be accorded the same privileges that former planned fighters have. I know that some of these colleagues you know, on this last topic they are demanding, you know, the, you know, the repealing of, of the act. It is uh, with a, a, a understanding that it was unconstitutional, but I think it is really out of our mandate, even as member of parliament, to come and, uh, and entertain, you know, the repeal of, of an act of parliament without, you know, discussing and have a a blessing of parliament. The former SWATF members have also scaled up their demands over the remainder of the $36 million given to government by its South African counterpart. Again, humanitarian aspects, I told them that too. As Namibians, we have a right to be treated equally. If you are over 60 years old, you must get pension like any other person. If there are other things, others are getting as Namibians, old people and so on, poor people, you must get the same. At a nice meeting, they raised the issue of $36 million that South Africa gave to them and was shared with SWAPO. Lucky enough, I was a Prime Minister at that time. Uh, it has $36 million, it's true. South Africa then gave 12 to Kufut and 12 to SWAPO, I would say. But no then came to the but it was through the bank, South Africans were running it. What happened to twelve? We don't know. I said keep on go and ask South Africans. <coughs> Even that time we say, why are you uh, withholding twelve million? Is it because of other activities that are going to undertake or so on? So that one is clear cut case and I have said it in Parliament when I was there that time. The group once again recently attempted to march to State House from their camp along the Clements Kapua Street. However, they were blocked and instead handed over their petition to Samuel Tomakosep, the permanent secretary in the presidency.